All right, the next event is half a helicopter duration. Uh, now this, we're gonna, I recommend the Apogee Helirock rocket kit, because this one you can buy as a kit. Um, it's a small model, it uses a half a engine in the back. Um, it's pretty competitive, it's got big blades. And since this is a kit, uh, you can read the instructions on how to make the kit, um, but you need to order it, so you make sure you order it fast. Um, there are plans similar to this on the, on the NAR website. In the NAR website, under competition, they have competition plans, and they do have plans for something that's very similar to this. Um, again, this is, this is a duration event, so that means you want to keep your rocket up as long as possible. Um, and it's two flights. So again, if your first one's 30 seconds and your second one's 30 seconds, you get a total flight time of 60 seconds. The person with the longest flight time wins. Pretty simple. Well, it's, it's, it's a hard event. Helicopter, if you look at the points, it's one of those events that has a lot of points of, associated with it. So that means if you want to go for a lot of points and win overall meet champion, you want to win helicopter. You also want to do well in egg lofting, and then in the third one, which is uh, flex wing glider. Any questions on helicopter? So, uh, is it best to have it land, get into a uh, thermal? And yeah. how do you determine if there's a thermal out there? Okay, so the question is, is it best to get it into a thermal? Obviously, yes. Uh, the longer you can keep it in the air, the better. A thermal is a rising column of warm air. So as the rocket's coming down, and if it hits that column of air, you can actually hover. Sometimes you can actually go back up. Um, how do you tell if there's a thermal there? Um, you want to look for clues. Um, if it's a very calm day, you'll want to just use your cheek, because your cheek is pretty sensitive to temperatures. And you can feel a warm gust of wind coming along. So that means the thermal is going past you. And so then you want to launch really quick, because you want to get into that thermal. You also want to look for birds, like hawks, birds that circle. If you see a bird circling in the air, he's in a thermal. So get into that bird, aim into that bird. If, if there's clouds that day, like big cumulus clouds, cumulus clouds are the ones that have the dark bottoms. What's happening in those cumulus clouds is they're sucking air into them and it's going up. You want to get right underneath one of those clouds. You'll get sucked into the thermal. Um, also, you want to look for dust and blades of grass that are picked up and are swirling in the air. That's also a good clue for that if there's a thermal around. 